All right, ladies and gentlemen, so Dragon Age The Veil Guard's reviews are finally out. It is the 28th of October, and the internet is losing it. It is absolutely insane what is happening right now with the discussion around Dragon Age The Veil Guard. Now, listen, we all knew that this was going to be a thing, okay? We all knew that Dragon Age The Veil Guard was hiding quite a bit of information that was going to make it the ire of a lot of people online, and yet still... Even with it releasing, a lot of the information that we are finding is extremely shocking and honestly pretty damn hilarious. Who's laughing now? Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have a few videos coming out about Dragon Age of Guard because, to be honest with you, there is so much information running around right now that it's hard to do it all in one video. So I'm going to do multiple videos on it. I don't give a fuck. Just go watch the videos when they come out. I would greatly appreciate it. This particular video is going to be talking about uh, particular YouTubers, YouTubers that are very well known in the gaming scene that provide reviews, especially early reviews, since they get review copies and whatnot, and they're destroying it. They are absolutely destroying Dragon Age of Guard. It is a blood bath and we are seeing a massive divide right now we are seeing a divide like we usually do between gaming urinalists and youtubers providing their reviews they are completely different we're talking about ign 9 out of 10 which by the way i called that i totally said they were going to give it a 9 multiple outlets giving a 10 out of 10 perfect i called it since day one we all saw it coming it's obvious however the youtubers that got their early review copies are not very happy with this game and are calling it a piece of garbage and the tombstone on a bioware so let's get into this video guys but of course before we do if you are new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that youtube algorithm so it says spanish-speaking streamer natalia sirenova blasted shout out to natalia by the way good good person blasted dragon age the guard after obtaining a review copy by allegedly informing the company she was a non-binary woman now it's hilarious to me, Natalia, you know, that the fact that she said she was a non-binary woman and got a review copy, I think it's hilarious. People don't real, realize that Natalia actually has a lot of connections in the gaming industry, which, again, people people just don't, don't get that. But she has a lot of connections in the gaming industry, and her getting a copy by claiming she was non-binary is hilarious to me. But also, it's really not uh, shocking, considering if, you know, when you see my other video, you're going to see what's in this game. The, the, everything that they said was in this game is true. Literally everything. All the modern audience stuff. All the non-binary stuff, all the trans ideology, it's literally in the game by word. I'm not even talking about implication. No, they literally tell you that you are supporting XYZ trans ideology by making certain decisions, non-binary, all this stuff, pronouns. It's in the game, no doubt about it. Uh, in an initial post to X, as translated by Google's auto-translate function, Nova wrote, guess who got a review uh, code from Dragon Age to Veilguard? Bioware just sold his soul to the devil. I just had to say I was a non-binary woman, and they gave it to me for free get ready for the mega review soon or tomorrow of note sirenova's comments come in the wake of youtuber wolfheart fps sharing that creators who were negative about the game during an initial play test were not given review codes for the full game now again we went over that in a separate video now i will say that this whole entire thing has been an absolute mess and natalia actually got a dmca strike i don't know if they're going to talk about that in this article but i'll say it ahead of time she got a dmca strike for posting the information about veil guard before the 28th uh so it just goes to show that they're trying to silence as much information as humanly possible related to this game but now we're officially in the 28th so the review embargo is is basically done if you had a review cop copy early you can say what you want to say as long as you fit within the certain guidelines that i'm sure they gave creators so it said Sirenova then shared her review of the game after three and a half hours of play which again I don't I don't I don't to be fair I don't think three and a half hours of play is enough to give a review for a game like Dragon Age I think you need to be at least 10 15 hours in in order to give an actual review but I digress she wrote terrible graphics which again you can see that from immediately so you don't have to play three hours to notice that boring and monotonous combat they want to copy God of War but in a bad way that's the second person that has compared this game to God of War by the way the second person to do that and i'm sure there's going to be more as more people play this game so just keep that in mind she continued the game does 
not run at a constant 30 FPS. It drops and the screen freezes where there are many NPCs. Many of the dialogues are noticeably, noticeably made with AI. Now, the AI thing, I don't know. I would have to see the dialogue in order to be able to understand whether or not it may have been done by AI. But to be honest with you, AI, especially when it comes to dialogue, is so good these days. It's going to be really hard to tell between AI and an actual real person. And to be extra honest with you, most of these activists who are writing these games are so bad at their job that AI would look like them. That's the funny thing. Like AI would actually look like what they're doing because they're so bad at the job that AI can look similar or better than their work. Uh, and again, the the whole like constant 30 FPS, it, it can't even run at that, is kind of pathetic. Uh, I don't know if she played on console uh, or, or Xbox or PS5. I have no idea. But I got to imagine if it's at a constant 30 FPS, she probably play, uh, played on console. So if it's playing that bad on console, things are not looking good. Uh, very linear. The options lead to nowhere. False free will. The creative characters focus on trans and LGBTQ communities, she added. Inclusive language and Spanish subtitles. Uh, actually... I made a video on this already talking about how the uh, the com it's very linear and the options are essentially fake free will, fake, you know, fake, uh, fake choice. That's literally what it is. And, and a lot of people were like, oh, you know, don't talk bad about Final Fantasy's thing. You know, it's an MMO. I get that. I wasn't talking bad about Final Fantasy. I was comparing it to Final Fantasy 14 because that's the same system. The systems are the same. Final Fantasy 14 gives you the illusion of choice, but none of it matters. And it all leads to the same exact thing. I was only comparing it because the systems are the same. This particular video. Video game there's supposed to be a game that gives you actual choice and gives you different options from those choices none of it matters it all leads to the same exact thing it's an illusion of choice and it's pathetic for a dragon age game it really is which explains why they didn't want you to have any connection to the original dragon age games right they constantly tell you they didn't want you to, to you know have anything related to origins or anything related to dragon age 2 they only wanted to slightly reference inquisition but they wanted this to be its own thing Thing. and it's kind of sad but that's just what it is uh next she wrote the character moves very robotic they lack animations the script doesn't make any sense neither do the quests from one place to another killing bugs too much focus on homosexuality lesbians drags race swap everywhere she then summarizes the fucking piece of garbage as an rpg stay away from this game don't even buy it on sale it's a pile of putrefaction created by people who have no fucking idea about video games uninstalled already fuck your mother holy shit holy shit <laughs> Oh my god, the fuck your mother thing at the end. That's perfect. Oh my god, that's something. Bro, that's such a Spanish thing to say. You got, <laughs> fuck your mother. That's uh, that's why hey, that's why Cassie's out here constantly saying she's fucking moms, bro. A cold class shout out to Cold Classic Cage, the mom fucker. That's why she's doing it, man. She's Puerto Rican too. It's a Spanish thing. Fuck your mom. That's that's a Spanish thing, man. In a subsequent post, she wrote, This game will be the tombstone of Bioware. And then finally she concluded that if they don't fix all the bugs before launch, coupled with the political agenda, this game will be shit. Well, I mean, let's be real. They're not going to fix the bugs for this game two days before release. That's just not going to happen. Uh, they're too busy virtue signaling about how many trans people you can make in the game and how many non-binary pronouns you can have. Uh, so they're not going to fix it anytime soon until they get a bunch of backlash over it. And even then, the people who are shilling for the game are never going to tell them that something's wrong with it, right? They're going to be so focused on the character creator screen, they won't even actually get to the game to be virtue signaled to. That's the most ironic thing. So the early reviews aren't looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, even Maddie Plays over on YouTube has completely and utterly destroyed this video game. And uh, it's just going to get uglier and uglier from here as the game gets ready to release on the 31st. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it if you get to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.